We're gonna have a little bit of different kind of magic. <laughs> oh, come on now, we're all sinners at this table. In the beginning, there was only darkness and emptiness. Life was yet to be. You did get all of the one. Pride, greed, lust, anger, sloth, gluttony, and envy. Pick the stone. Perfect. Would you please pick up the stone and turn over your card? Very good. Take the little pouch that's in front of you and place it back on that pile. The bell rang. I thought it might be fun to incorporate that into a bizarre effect. Why not? So, here's what we have. This happens. Oh, man. The little uh, personalized note. And I touch it to the flame. We have a heart, and we'll get to that in a second. We'll need this old bell from a hotel that was circa 1920s. Now it's time for me to share with you all the information that I've gathered over the last 15 years of being a bizarrist, performing bizarre magic in the real world, how to develop your character, how to put together your act, choosing the genre of bizarre magic that you wish to perform in, your clothing, the costume that you wear, of course, the presentation of your bizarre magic, and very important, of course, the venues where you can perform bizarre magic in. So let's start with the Book of Shadows, all right? This is actually one of my favorite um, possessions. But this is one that I use in a haunted key effect. To voodoo or not to voodoo? That is the question. Only you can answer it. With animal oracle cards, I use this for um, an, a different effect altogether. So I have three different bizarre acts. I've got about 20 effects that I perform all the time. And hopefully you've been inspired a little bit too. So without further ado, it is time for me to say goodbye. And we'll see you next time.